Oh, good. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Royal News Network Saturday morning live stream. I hope y'all are doing absolutely fantastic this morning. We've had a, a busy and I would say very, very strange world in Royals this week. Obviously, we saw the fallout of Catherine revealing her diagnosis. There's a lot of stuff going on, I would say, on Royal Twitter and different things. And if you are not on there, don't feel sorry. Be glad. <laughs> There's just a general lot of chaos going on around there, especially all the concerns about what's going on in terms of sort of the monarchy's public perception and still conspiracy theories and rumors and all sorts of crazy things going on this week. We did have Stephen Colbert, I guess, issue somewhat of an apology for his tasteless joke about Catherine William and Rose Hanbury. We also have, obviously, the royals going to Easter this week and Charles delivering an Easter address. And then we also have... Uh, let's think. <laughs> Harry and Meghan just doing sort of crazy things. We have Harry mentioned in the lawsuit against P um, Puff Daddy Combs. And then we also have Meghan issuing more trademarks and yet zero substance for American Riviera Orchard. So again, just lots of strange things I feel like going on this week. A lot of conspiracies and just weirdness. And so we will, though, keep this one a little shorter this week because obviously we do have a lot of uh, people are on vacation. It's Easter weekend and stuff. And we did have in our family a sad day yesterday because we had to say goodbye to one of our family's dogs, Mr. Maverick. So I took that yesterday. Um, he ended up having a huge tumor. And so we had to shockingly put him down yesterday, which was super sad. So that is what my week was like. So it was a weird week. And then it ended on a very, very sad note. And so we lost our, uh, he's, I call him the commissioner of the puppy patrol, all the dogs we have have little positions within the puppy patrol but um he was 11 he was the sweetest gentlest boy so very very sad if i talk too much about it i'm gonna cry so we will move on but i just did want to share because i feel like it's been a very weird week and i probably don't look my best but not only you know were we sad yesterday um when he passed away and crying and everything but also <laughs> So i'm actually very allergic to dogs <laughs> so i ended up having a bunch of allergies yesterday. And so my, my, uh, my eyes and stuff and everything. Cause I was just like itchy and everything. So he was our beautiful boy. So he was so, he was just so gentle too with our little dogs. So we miss him and it was kind of very, very sudden. So, but he wasn't feeling good. So it was a good thing, but sad day, sad day. And so I will just go ahead though and start. We have a couple of new members here. We have Pat Patty Cake. Oh, Patty Cake became a YouTube member. So thank you so much, Patty Cake. We have Anne Griffin became a YouTube member. Thank you, Anne. We have Lauren. Oh, yay. I'm so excited. And then we have Marsha. Good morning from Iowa. Why, thank you so much, Marsha. I do appreciate it so much. And then I did see um, a couple people say thank you oh yes so sorry for your family's loss thank you asima said as well thank you so much yeah he was our oldest boy and so he was just he was a swedish little he was a sweet boy so anyways it's been a hard hard day yes elizabeth deepest sympathy to you and your family on losing maverick yeah we were all i'm glad we were all there but it was very sad he enjoyed some chick-fil-a though he he thought that was that was really really awesome so probably get to some more of those later, but we'll go back up to the top here. We have Maria. Good morning, Brittany and Miss Pippo. I thank you. She is sleeping downstairs on the back of the couch, enjoying her life. Cuban Angel said, hello. I've been subscriber and follow Royal and, and loyally first time writing in a live. Happy Easter weekend to you all who celebrate lots of love and blessings from New Jersey. XOXO. Why, thank you. Yes, I am looking forward to it. I'm actually going to wear Fingers crossed my fascinator to church tomorrow, which always feels a little odd because it's like, you know, people in the cities don't wear those, but I just thought it was fun. And I did it last year for Easter. And I think I had a couple of ladies compliment me. And one lady just looked up, walked by me and she just smiled at me. It's just like, she's just enjoying it, but she didn't know quite know why I was wearing that thing. Uh, Wendy said, good morning. She said, Jonathan, um, Ma uh, journalist Matthew Sid was in the loo on a crowded train while his young son waited outside for him. A kind lady stopped by to check on him, make sure he was with someone. Yes, and that was Catherine. I was um, using the loo on the train to come yesterday while my young son waited outside and he got a lady waiting her turn. They chatted. It, I came out to thank her, then almost fell over. It was Kate. Thank you at Kensington Royal. Yes, I have heard about that as well. It's just such a sweet story. Catherine's really, really good with kids. We have Nana. Good morning. 
Trisha said, I heard what ARO stands for on another channel. American riff off. Could be true. I mean, I guess I, I get it. You know, you don't know until you know. Uh, we don't know how it's all going to turn out. But I will say, and I said it in my video last night, and I, I'll say it again. The, the, the good stepping stones you need to have aren't there. Uh, the brand launch was bad. We still don't know what this thing stands for. And then you're filing endless trademarks with no products. That's so just, again, just bad business strategy, I feel like. Heather Bryan says, good morning, Brittany and Miss Pippa. Heather says, I got or found the members live at six the other day. Did something happen or did my notifications mess up? Yes, we, uh, so sometimes when I put it out there, some people are able to see it and some people aren't. And so, yes, and I did have it where I didn't tell the right group because it's um, Duke and Duchess and Hire for the li Members Only Live. I should, oh, I meant to do one with everyone. So we'll try to do that for next time. Um, and so it's it was just one of those things where I, I like ended up having to put it out there a couple of times. But if you had it at six, then you got the right one. So I'm not sure, but it all depends on what level you're at. But yeah, I had a bit of a, again, this last week, it's just been weird. <laughs> Do you ever just feel that? You just feel like, you know what? You know, I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, I just had a tough time. <laughs> Pia says, good morning, Brittany and Pippa. As Emma said, and notifications aren't working for me either. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's hard because I don't know why. I need to do, figure out something else. Uh, Sarah McDowell says, um, uh, heard a G Torres quote again recently thought she said, we'll see. Well, she'll watch. She'll be happy. She's here. Yes. Classy shade. Yes. Cause again, it just seems like Meghan Markle drops anybody as soon as they're no longer useful to her. Debbie says, Hey, work a day at the lake listening while I garden. You're the best. Awesome. Asma says, is the court case for Samantha versus Megan over now? Pretty much, pretty much. And again, I don't think it had great legs to stand on anyways. Uh, U.S. in terms of defamation cases, very, very hard to prove. Very, very, very hard to prove. And I just didn't have it, didn't think it had good legs personally. Asma says, what's latest on Harry's appeal against the home office? As far as I know, it's still going forward, but it's going to cost half a million of the taxpayer dollars. But if Harry loses, then he does have to pay all that back. Uh, and he should. It's a waste of everybody's time. Like he just needs to let it go. He left and there are consequences for that. His cousins don't get full time security. Why should he like? Yes, I get it. His father is a king, but he is also not a working royal, no longer constitutionally relevant. So why in the world does he need a lot of security? As a misses, any news on Harry and Meghan's Netflix deal? No, we just we don't know where that stands. But again, I don't think that's looking good. I mean, you almost wonder if launching American Riviera Orchard and saying, oh, we'll have a cooking show is a Hail Mary to force Netflix to give them a cooking show. It's just the, the honest truth is everything they do just doesn't seem to be working. So, I mean, it could still be something that they decide to do. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's been I, I just don't think that's going anywhere. Colleen has sent a super sticker. Thank you so much, Colleen. I really do appreciate it this morning. Why hasn't Kim K apologized to Catherine as she's doing Megan's dirty work? Uh, this is from Asma. I don't think so. I just don't think she probably doesn't really want to apologize or something. I don't know. It's it's weird. Becky says, Heather, it was scheduled for one, but the link did not work. Brittany rescheduled that same evening. She always sends notifications through our emails in YouTube. Yes, it should be connected to whatever email you're connected to with YouTube on your account. So, but I don't know all the ins and outs, but I, I've been meaning to create a discord at some point and I will do that. Tea time with me. Ma says, good morning all from Vermont. Asma says, does William trust Beatrice and Eugenie? I mean, I think he does. I don't think he's necessarily close to them. And I think too, if you are royal and you're kind of part of a family like that, I mean, you do have to be careful about who you tell certain things because some people may just talk to other people more and let things go. So yeah, it's been been interesting. As Emma says, Harry has cost the UK taxpayers over 500,000. I think it's actually technically more than that, but if he continues the lawsuit, it'll be an additional 500. So, so he, he'll be out probably close to, I think cause he was already out maybe close to 2 million or maybe over a million. I can't remember. So he may be close to two or 3 million by the time all this is done for something he's just never going to get. <laughs> Um, Peggy says live stream all light, please. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, Peggy. I do appreciate it this morning. 
let's see. Cascal says, of the three in the photo, no one is doing well. Kanye is nuts. Harry's married to his wife. Diddy is under investigation. Three peas in a pod. Yeah, they're, they're, none of them are very good. And I did not crop William out of that picture. He was not in that picture. Because if you watch the video of that event, Harry is hanging out with them first. And then William comes up later. Asma says, why is Harry like, acting like a child? Because William gets along with Camilla. Because Harry is a child. <laughs> he is a poster child for how therapy sometimes is not always a good thing. So much of good therapy depends on having a good therapist, and he does not have good therapists, in my opinion. Cher says, Megan's connection to Flamenco Estate is noted in Mercury News, a celebrity rag article is Megan getting more inspiration from a luxury LA lifestyle company. I mean, she might be, but the thing is, I'm, I just don't even know. We'll have to wait and see. But honestly, again, I, I just don't get American Riviera Orchard. I just really don't. Like, what's the point? It's just so bad. Asma says, I'm not sure what American Review Orchard is. What's it about? No idea. N literally no idea. And that's the problem because it always, like, again, all brands should, especially brand launch. And she has the best people in the world. That's what I don't understand. Guys, I'm not very good at, at you know, you could say what, like, I, I have no training in marketing, really. I just learned some things on the job and stuff. And somehow I created a better brand and somewhat better marketing than she did. And I don't have any marketing budget. <laughs> I don't understand how that works. I don't understand. I don't understand. Asma says, uh, Cheryl William and uh, was Diana's confidant. Diana has been dead for decades, holding grudges and is unhealthy. Yes. Uh, we have Stacy the below average turtle. I love that. Cheryl T in Oklahoma says, um, um, a Fayaz H probably feels a betrayal of their mother. Yes. Stacy says it was before William started to actively lose his hair as a scenes coughed, coughed enough. And we said, Becky says, welcome Lauren to one of our new members, Megan, a sheriff from Tennessee. Megan could do something different than Flamenco estates. Of course, Flamenco estates looks like it has been overpriced stuff for rich people, different world from most Americans. Is there a huge market for this? So it depends. I've never heard of Flamenco estates. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a huge, like I, I know the luxury brands and I know what I like from them. Uh, there's a pair of shoes I've been watching for a long time. And I've been telling myself, no, Brittany, you cannot order these shoes because you don't need them. A. Eh? You get high heels and you never wear them B, which is true. But um, it's it's just, I've, I've never heard it. But I mean, we don't know how much Megan is quote unquote copying until we see actually what she produces. Again, the problem is she's not producing anything. And I think for her launching the brand, and I said this in my video last night, she needed to have a couple of products. And I would say one that she was super passionate about that had a story. Again, looking at the example of the row, I love the story of Ashley wanted to create the perfect t-shirt. So what did she do? She, she tried to create the perfect t-shirt and that's what they sell now. And that was one of their first products. And that's in a story and attachment. I can understand you're a woman trying to find a t-shirt that works for all women that you think is a perfect fit t-shirt. Bravo. Good for you. That is awesome. I can get behind that. Meghan Markle's stuff just seems to be just filing endless. I mean, she needs a product. You can't just file endless trademarks. And yes, I mean, she does need to do that somewhat for business protection, but she doesn't even have a business yet until she has a product. It's not a business yet. It's just an idea. Like, again, I said, I, I've launched, I've technically launched something. But I'm not telling you guys any guys what it is yet because I have nothing there. And I'll actually probably launch a couple other channels just to hold the names until I'm ready to start putting content out there. Because if I come up with a really good name and I don't want anybody to steal it, I will go ahead and create the, the YouTube page for it because I don't want anybody to steal it. <laughs> Peggy Spurgeon says, sorry about the misspelling. Can you put live stream line? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Yes. Okay, we'll change the color to change it purple to match my lavender, my lavender sweater. And we also have used Eunice. Oh, thank you so much for the super sticker, Eunice, this morning. I really do appreciate it. And so let's keep going here. We have Jedi Mom. Good morning from Blustery, but sunny New Hampshire. Shout out to Brittany and Miss Pippa. Asma says, William was closer to his mother, but sees his parents' marriage through the eyes of an adult. Harry is still a child. Yes. I've said that before as well. He, he, he has, Harry, sadly, I think, has no idea that his it's like the what he's doing is really a fantasy of what his 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 family love was his parents were or whatever um Harry, 
Harry still sees the idealized version of his mother, whereas William actually sees the person Diana was. So he sees her great attributes and he also sees her flaws. And I think there's something really great and mature about that. Raven says, thank you so much for the tip. It's the end of Harry and Meghan. ARO was such a last dip attempt to save face and it shows they have been roundly rejected by the public on so many fronts. Yes. And again, like if she could create something awesome, she might have great success. But again, this was so bungled. Like, how do you bungle something this badly? It's just so bad. And yes, maybe she had something to launch. You know, but Catherine obviously revealed her diagnosis and so she felt like she had to keep it on the back burner. But I just still cannot comprehend why you would create a nothing Instagram and just let it sit there and do nothing maybe for months. That's just stupid. But she did that, too, with apparently the Megan Instagram account. That's just Megan. It sat there. It's been sitting there online for like months now, maybe even a year. I don't know when it was officially established. That would actually be a good question to ask. Let's let's go ahead and see real quick if we can figure it out because I think that would be very worthwhile to know because it will tell you when it was established. So, all right. So we get there and I think you can see on about this account. So she joined it in June of 2022. If this is, you know, what Megan's account is, it just says Megan. It's on Instagram. She, let's see, former usernames. Megan has changed their username one time. So it'd be interesting to know what the original username was or if it's been changed from Megan Markle to just Megan. And so anyways, if, she, if this is her account, which has been widely reported and never debunked that it, it's not, it sat there for almost two years now with nothing. That's just dumb. I mean, I understand maybe she's using it as a placeholder, but this seems to be a general business practice of hers is to grab something and just let it sit until she's ready. <laughs> just like, why? I just can't imagine that anybody would go, oh, this is a good idea. My goodness. Cheryl says, asthma, you know, you and I know that's unhealthy, but remember Harry's married to a manipulative narcissist. She's probably also feeding that anger. Yes. Again, I've always been on the side of, I know people don't really like Harry, but I think this is my perception of Harry in this situation. Some of his feelings or, you know, you could even argue most of his feelings always existed on the matter of his brother and stuff, his, his feeling inadequate and everything. I think all that probably did always exist. But if you find a good partner and you find a good therapist, what they can do is they can help you accept those things and make changes in your life. What I feel like Harry has is somebody who's just feeding his narcissism. And so he's just feeding and feeding and feeding it. And it's just like going, it's just not good. On Tea Time with Mima has become a YouTube member. Thank you so much, Mima. I'm so glad you have become a YouTube member. I think you were one again. I thought you, I, oh, thought I saw a little YouTube member symbol, but maybe I missed it earlier. So, but thank you so much. I'm so excited. So Crystal says, I'm making a bacon Easter dinner while listening from rainy Southern California. Happy Easter. He is risen. Yes. Becky says, dollar store, uh, Duchess dollar store will be selling chic dog food at ARO. Yeah. I mean, again, some of it's just to save things, but it's just amazing to me that she has filed so many trademarks yet doesn't have a single product. Like she could file all the trademarks she wants. Just give us a product. It's almost like she's begging for backers or something or begging for people to give money to her business. And it's like, but you don't have a business yet. You need to like create a product, create a product. Even if it's a very limited run or something like that, you could create great interest going, well, we only have, let's say 500 of X. And so you can get this great 500 of X. And I mean, again, I was just, I can't believe, does nobody tell her things or does she really not listen? She probably really doesn't listen, but Sarah says, good morning from warm Louisiana. I love to miss Pippa too. You guys can hear her downstairs barking. She has seen somebody in the neighborhood. She is still the captain of the puppy patrol, but she is missing her commissioner this morning. As I says, William has to, uh, has to work with Camilla on the real world people uh, and on the real world, people have to work with people they might not like. A hundred percent. That's called maturity, <laughs> which Harry sorely lacks. Stacy says the sour feelings were always under the surface. She stirred them up. The smaller room compared to his brother, not getting the same amount of food compared to his brother. Yes. And you can have somebody who helps you accept it and helps you grow. Whereas Harry is regressed like completely. He's an utter mess now than like, ugh. <laughs> I just feel sorry for him to a certain extent. I mean, I know a lot of people don't, but I do because I feel like 
she promised him a lot of things that he was never, ever going to get. So um, this is this is not technically true. Stacy says it makes me wish his parents had not sought a, a title of prince for him. Only William was supposed to be a prince per the letters of patent. That's actually not true. They were both. You can be a grandchildren of the sovereign and all get royal titles, hence why Beatrice and Eugenie have them. But when it comes to grandchildren, that's where things differ. Or great-grandchildren of the monarch, that's where things differ. So because William's kids were all born great-grandchildren of the reigning monarch, but he was also the son of the Prince of Wales, meaning that his children would eventually be elevated to a much higher rank, they went ahead and amended the letters of patent in the first place. But I think Meghan's anger was that they didn't do the same for Archie and Lilibet, but they were probably thinking, hoping, praying, wishing that Harry and Meghan would just... Um, except that their children weren't going to be constitutionally relevant and, and decide to give them private lives like they claim they want to. And obviously they did. Again, their branding and messaging is always so all over the place and not consistent. Raven says Megan wants to sell bird seed. No focus whatsoever. Yeah. No focus. Because again, like, I kind of like the idea of like preserve. I do like that name. It was like Bleak Lively's live sale brand company, but I would like have it focused on history or something. And again, I would focus on, you know, maybe something like I love writing. So the perfect pen or the perfect notebook or something like, I, I, again, I think good visionaries say, okay, I want X. Let me figure out how to do X. But Meghan Markle just wants to do everything apparently, but she's, she's got nothing. Again, it's just so bad. It, I just, I, I have a hard time guys. Cause it's like, she has all the help in the world. And I just do all this myself and she somehow doesn't do it, <laughs> which sounds really silly, but it's true. Jen Perney says, good uh, morning, everyone from Chile NYC. I hope Arrow brand makes toilet paper too. That would be funny. That'd be funny. Jay Lady Jane says, good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right. T Grimm says, a good morning all. I hope Megan is is successful in her ventures. The only thing that makes me angry is her marketing royal status when so obviously she looks down on it. Yes. Again, I think the half in half out thing where they're trying to be royal yet trying to be American, like I'm not even sure if she's trying to create a life, like a luxury brand or not. I'm not even sure. But I, I don't think things work when they're trying to do both. They need to pick a lane. They've chosen a non-royal life. So be non-royals. That's totally fine. It's when they're being royals is or trying to be cosplay royals as i call them that trouble is caused and i think the monarchy too should take great pains to avoid the cosplay royal trope mm, okay sorry i had i was all stuffed up last night so i definitely um wore my throat a little raw because i had to breathe through my mouth my nose was all stuffed up guys i'm like seriously very very allergic to dogs my dog though she's hypoallergenic she has hair and stuff fur um which is just kind of funny and our first our, our childhood dog was also hyperallergenic so my parents had no idea i had allergies until we moved and we thought it was a move and but it might have actually been the cat we got <laughs> marcia says the mercury is a san jose newspaper not a gossip rag well i think there's a couple of different mercury newses so I, I might be a different mick cinder g hello everyone from cool and cloudy north arkansas any new content from Lemonada as a mass? No. Again, she didn't even tell us what potentially the project was going to be. So it's like, do you have one? I just don't understand. Again, I don't understand. I try to be pretty transparent about the content I want to do. And I feel like that's good to get people invested because you're just like, oh, we're going to create something new. But look, look, you still have access to archetypes because everybody will want who didn't get to listen to archetypes will get to listen to it now which is dumb because everybody got to listen to it and i still swear i think it got totally um i i think the whole thing got totally um what am I, sorry guys again it's been a long week what is the word i'm looking for well, totally uh in, artificially inflated to one of the top spots and it's still like and i'm still surprised it's like she should have had something extra on it to get people more interested, like a reflection on it. Again, she's just so lazy. And again, I, you guys could argue with me. I don't do everything I should do. I'm really slow on things sometimes and stuff. I totally understand. But I'm also one person. Megan has millions to throw at projects. That's, that's I think, the thing that irritates me. I do all this myself and I feel like I do so much more work, which is, you know, again, probably, you know, inflating myself too much. But 
I guess I'm, I, I feel a little envious that she has all this, all these resources and she can't even use them properly. And I would love those resources because then I can create so much more. I have so many ideas and I'm like, Oh, Oh, Jesse Quarterman or Jackie Quarterman. Hi, Jackie. Uh, joining the live stream from Perth, Western Australia. Hi, Brittany. Miss Pippa and everyone. Say hi to your mom for me. Interesting what a professional ad people said about ARO. Exactly what you said. Thank you. Yes, I was so excited about that when I saw that because sometimes it's just like my videos will pop up near other videos. And so I get Google alerts for Royal News Network. And so I saw that one though. And I'm like, ooh, that one's good. I was like, ooh. Yay me! Yay, and I get that. That might seem a little um, self-congratulatory, and I do apologize. But sometimes too, it's just you say things, and people are like, "Oh, you're wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong!" But when like the professionals say, "Yeah, that's 100 percent right," it's like, "Oh, good, good." Because <laughs> um, I can always feel like I can learn something too. So if they say I'm wrong about X. It's like, "Oh, okay, I enjoy that." Melanie, good morning from sunny Florida. We have Elizabeth. Good morning and happy holidays to everyone from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Manitoba, Canada. Becky says Richard Eden on Prince Char Princess Catherine said this week that he hopes she is successful too. Maybe then the RF will never hear from her. Um, on, well, I would say Princess Catherine, but yeah. Um, yeah, if, if Meghan Markle is successful, they probably won't hear from her again. But again, I just don't think she's going to be that successful. She's just not that innovative. And she... The thing is, too, if Meghan Markle, let's say, if she just wanted to be a figurehead and gave somebody else full control over the brand, it might be wildly successful. But the thing is, Meghan Markle always needs to have control. And so because of that, she's her own worst enemy because she doesn't, I don't think, really necessarily makes the best decisions. But she insists on making them and not leaving some of that stuff to the professionals. Because, like, I would let somebody else edit my videos if they could do it better than me. And I didn't have to do it. <laughs> Totally 100% let, let somebody do that. And you guys might notice I'm actually filming all my content from here now. The reason is not because I don't like filming in front of my bookcase. I do. But it actually saves me a lot of editing time because I can pull websites directly into the feed. And so I don't have to do that manually later and add transitions and white screens and all sorts of things I usually have to do. So it actually cuts down on my editing time quite a bit. And I feel like anytime I can save is time I can put somewhere else. And so I'm going to do that. So at some point, if I have an editing partner or something, I will probably go back to using that backboard because I do like standing. I feel like it gives me a little bit more energy and I don't like sometimes that the mic is in my way. But right now, anything I can do to, to cut down on editing time, I will do. As I said, I want to be able to afford anything from ARO. We don't know that yet because we don't even know what she's offering. So it could all be very cheap stuff. I don't know. So we have Margarita says, I feel sure that at least this time Harry has done nothing wrong, but probably he should think about what it means messing with celebrities and value good reputation. Yes, you have to be careful in Hollywood. And there's a lot of nastiness in Hollywood. So Sarah says, good morning from rainy Ohio. Arrow is so awful. It's kind of fun to watch the train wreck. I mean, I almost said that in the video and I took it back because it's like, you know, I don't want to really, really succeed see somebody fail necessarily but it's at the same time too it's like man i don't know it's it's hard to not to sort of enjoy the train wreck but i don't really want to because it's that's not nice to people and it is easter weekend so we should and if she is successful maybe she will sort of in a way go away from the royals which would be a good thing as much says, who's marcus anderson he's he's her friend but it's odd he's there all the time i almost kind of joked I don't know how serious it is, but he's like there with them all the time. Like he shows up almost everywhere they're at. And so you got to wonder sometimes, is there three people in their marriage? Harry, Megan, and Marcus Anderson? I don't know. All right. So I do say, Christopher, what is Christopher Bosey's problem with the RF? BRF. And so this is the guy who created Spoutable and is a Harry and Megan stan and then obviously disparages Catherine and William and then gets frustrated when the media picks up on it and everything. He has this video, which I haven't seen. I don't know if he actually ended up posting it on Twitter or not talking about how he had irrefutable proof that the video that the son posted of Catherine at the Windsor market was fake, but I haven't seen, but he only posted the evidence too spoutable, which makes me think sort of that it is more almost of a publicity stunt because 
Um, yeah, he only posted it to Spoutable. And so because of that, it's it's like, so is he just trying to get people to his site? I don't know what his end goal is. I don't know. It's it's whatever. Um, but it's just I don't think ends up making him look great. And sometimes, too, when it comes to people and he keeps trying to obviously. My goodness, he keeps trying to obviously push against the son's narrative about Catherine in the video and everything. It, you almost seem to think that, well, maybe he's trying to deflect from the own, the article about him and the son kind of. And so, yeah, I, I think I don't, I don't know quite what he's thinking, but I mean, he has the right to say what he wants, but I think he may end up with a bit of egg on his face at some point, but that's going to be, uh, he'll make that everybody else's problem. Not, not take responsibility for his mistake. And again, it was Catherine in the Windsor video, 100%. It was her walk. It was her. She's smiling. Her hair was long like it was in the video. It's her. It's her. And people who have cancer, I have a family member who has been stage four for many years now, and they go out and they do things all the time. They don't stay home. They have to take, yes, sometimes they do take precautions. Like if I was sick, I wouldn't go visit them. But they they go out and do things. They're not hanging out at home. And we don't know what was in the bag she was carrying. It could have been very light things. And when it comes to cancer, again, you have it depending on most cancers are on two to four week cycles. So you get the the treatment either every every couple of weeks, depending on what it is. So again, the first week you might feel pretty bad. Second week you might feel a bit better. Third week or fourth week, you might feel more like yourself. And so if she was feeling more like herself going out to the market, 100% Catherine do that. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to get so insular, so at home, so not living your life that you end up in not a great place mentally. Um, that That is my perspective because person in my family who has cancer, they always go out and they live their life. And I think that is marvelous. Stephanie says, uh, Stephanie K says, good morning from sunny Florida. Jenny says, good morning from Portland, Oregon. Good morning, guys. Okay. <laughs> Elaine Walsh says, I won't be buying anything from ARO or another ripoff. I will go to Target. Yeah. And we just, again, we still don't even know what she's going to sell really at the end of the day. What are her first products? Is she going to come out with like a whole product store with like a bunch of things? That just seems like a really, really bad idea. Uh, SEJ says, morning. Good morning. Janine says, hi all. Hello. Sugar Cookie says, good morning, everyone. Fire Elemental says, morning from Ohio. Hannah Marshall says, will Harry's kids lose their title when they are no longer grandchildren of the ruling monarch? No, they will technically still get to keep it. But again, I have suggested for a long time that they amend the letters of patent to say that you must be raised and educated in the United Kingdom in order to keep your titles. That is the rule in Sweden, which is why Princess Madeline will eventually have to move her family back to Sweden. I don't know if Meghan could stand to live in the UK because she hates it so much because they did not give her enough money to buy a Birkin. So I don't know if she will go back or not. And again, I don't know if she really <laughs> wants to buy a Birkin, but she has bought a couple of things from Hermes and one very ugly puffer coat. That puffer coat is still ugly, horrible and flattering, and also probably well over three grand. So you don't understand why you would do that. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like, so you did just buy it because it says Hermes on it, didn't you? Like, because, you know, if you're going to buy something expensive, buy something that you really like, that way you're going to wear it. I'm just stupid. I buy things I can't fit in. So that's my, that's my dumb thing. But I will, I will. I got, I just need to get, um, it's hard to do everything. So I just need to get back to the gym more. Lady Jane says, and eat better. Lady Jane says, Marcus Anderson is a friend of Megan's. He's involved with the Soho house. Yes. And he's sort of their third wheel. He's there with them a lot. He was there in Texas with them. He was at Polo with them. I, I thought he lived in Toronto. Maybe he re, relocated to Los Angeles just to be close with them. That's sort of weird. Lizzie B says, oh, Miss Brittany, the line set is off. Yes, and we did turn it on. Um, Mimi sa Mima says, good morning, Brittany and all. Good morning. Compass Rose says, hello from sunny Maine, headed to the UK tonight for a week. Have a ton of fun. Again, Cobbs or Cops or whatever, right next to the Tower of London. Great. They have these donut things. They are so good. Because I went there, I was going to stay in one of the igloos. They have igloos outside that overlook the Thames, but you have to spend like 150 pounds. It was just me. I should have invited other people, but I wasn't sure. So anyways, I went inside. I got a burger, which was okay. But the donut things, I was like, well, since I'm here and I was going to do one of the igloo things and those, you know, have a higher bill or whatever. Kind of glad I didn't though, because it rained really hard. Anyways, 
They had these donut things. They're really, really good. Really, really good. Duchess says, good morning. Don't forget to turn your light. Yes. And we have Lindsay Curry. Good afternoon, everyone from Scotland. Princess Catherine, Princess Catherine. Raggy, Maggie Raynor says, good morning, all. American woman, good morning, lovelies. It's a beautiful spring morning in Tennessee. We have Laura. Good morning, Brittany. Lee do Easter from Scotland. Betty says, good morning from Oklahoma. Aw, Jane Buck says, says, looks like he was a good boy. He was a good boy. Our, our Sadly, our, our maverick, our family dog, he had to, we had to put him to sleep yesterday. So he had a big old tumor. And so he was not doing very good, but came up very suddenly. Came up very suddenly. So it was very sad. But he's very sweet. Very sweet boy. Um, so we have Kathy says, I think Colbert gave an explanation why I felt he uh he could say what he did, but not an apology. I will say I haven't totally lost listened to it yet. But again, it's to me, the the thing I find most egregious about it is just bringing up the Rose stuff because I feel so sorry for that poor woman. There's been no evidence to this whatsoever. It's gone on for years. And I would say this is one of the instances where the palace's policy of never complain, never explain, and just let something ride was, was a mistake with this situation because it hasn't died. It's been going on for years now, I think half a decade, this rumor has been around. And obviously just the ignoring, it's just not not doing it. Uh, Marion says, clarification, please. It's my understanding that Catherine was called Kate all through her school years, even on the air engagement interview with ITV. She is called Kate by William. It's been a while since I've watched, so I'd have to watch again. Aw, God bless. I know our animals are just like part of the family. Yeah, he is. He was just such a handsome boy. Um, McCinder says, sorry for your loss of your family dog. Jane says, Lady Jane says, it's always that to lose a fur baby. It is. So sorry for your loss. Yeah. It's so sad. Lady Aviator says, a slid in only one minute late. Phew. Glad to be joining the live stream. Much love from Alabama. Thank you. Crystal W says, I'm so sorry for your loss. Uh, Compass Rose says, I'm so sorry for your loss of the commissioner. Yes. He slept all the time anymore, but he was so sweet. Jane Lady, uh, sorry, Jane Lynch says, good morning, all from Phoenix, Arizona. Niner Girl said, good morning from the Bay Area. Rose says, hello, Brittany. Hi. Uh, Ritz says, oh, so sorry. He's got his doggy wings now. RIP, sweet baby pup. Yes. Yes. A share from Tennessee says, um, I suspect Bozy was paid by someone, but now he is angry because he has been found out. No doubt he feels Everything is due to the R word. It might be, um, but yeah, I think he's starting to like, you know, he just need to rein it in, rein it in a bit. Uh, it just is, I don't think it's just making him look all that good. And, but there's another part of me too, that thinks he sort of enjoys the attention. So I don't know. Again, he may come and he may come um, to regret that baby says, what about the King's pancreatic cancer rumors? Again, I don't want to go down the route of what cancer he might have. I know somebody was reporting that he, they, they were planning, they were doing a succession plan already, which they always should do. William, when he becomes King, he should have a succession plan ready, regardless of, you know, he may live 30 years plus after he makes that, but you always need to have a plan in place because otherwise if you don't chaos can kind of happen. So um, it's, I don't really want to go down that route, but yeah. Uh, Duchess says, I wouldn't think so. Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie are no longer grandchildren of the reigning monarch and they saw their titles. Yes. And Ka Carla says, I was very abused as a child. I'm so sorry. The state came and got me. My partner and my therapist have been godsend. Both of Harry's are not good. Happy Easter. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Kyle. And yes, you um, you absolutely can have a, a, I, I love to see people who go through challenges and then come out on top. And Harry is just not one of those people. He doesn't have good people around him who are helping him make good, healthy decisions. And unfortunately, one of those is his wife. I really think he seems angrier, frustrated, more frustrated. Um, just like pouting and petulant and so many things. And it's like, so is anything really all that helpful? I don't know. Yeah. So it's just sort of, sort of sad, sort of sad. And so um, Loretta says, sorry about Mr. Maverick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to share his picture because he is so sweet. It's so sad. Well, Brittany, I'm no, I'm so sorry. He's 
so happy there he is jackie quarterman says that's so sad is your mom okay she's okay um they have two other dogs at home so one of their they had two goldens that were in within two years of each other and they have another dog and the two goldens were very or they were very very close and so um the girl savannah was i guess sort of confused last night and kept kind of looking for him and trying to figure out what was going on so that was that was rough Kimberly says, good morning, everyone. Catherine says, sorry, Brittany and family. Mary says, happy Easter from New Jersey. Brittany, your videos are becoming world-class. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I do like this setup. Um, oh, Becky says, so sorry, Brittany. He was a beautiful boy. He was. And he was so sweet to Miss Pippa. Well, he loved her too because she hid her bones in places. And when he would come to my house, the first thing he would do is go and search for all her bones and eat her food. And she did like that. But it was very cute. RIP, Mr. Maverick. Uh, Becky says, hello, everyone. And we have a so hard, uh, American woman, so hard to go through. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, we've lost a couple, but it's always hard. Mima says, so hard to hear about your loss. Tanya, sad face. Debbie says, good morning, all. Sorry for your loss. Deepest sympathies to you and your family on losing Maverick. Yes. So sorry about your fur brother. Yeah, he was like kind of our first boy dog as a family too. My parents had um, a boy dog before um, um, me and my sister came around, but we haven't had a boy. So he was, he was funny though. He was strong though. He could drag you down the street. No problem. Uh, Terry says gifted five real news numbers. Ugh, sorry. Can't talk. Uh, Terry gifted five Royal News Network memberships. Thank you so, so much. I do really appreciate it, Terry, and I hope others do as well. Deborah says, good morning from Alabama. Any truth to articles saying they're talking to the York ladies about working? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I don't think it would be bad necessarily. I don't, don't think it would be bad. Again, I think they are seeing the limits of the slim down monarchy approach. And even Anne wasn't excited about it. And I was actually going to do, cause I, I've been struggling cause with Catherine's news and everything, everything's been sort of crazy. So I was going to do my, my draft podcast this week. Cause I did one, but then Catherine's news dropped and I just let it go. And then I was like, Oh, I'm going to do that this week. And then of course we had to go to the vet. And so <laughs> I just feel like I'm so behind, but I did want to talk. That was one of the things I didn't want to talk about is that the slim down monarchy approach does definitely could definitely work, but also has its limits. Uh, lots of condolences. Thank you guys so much. Kathy says, so sorry for your loss. Lurt says, I love being around dogs. Thank God I'm not allergic. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's not always fun. I, I get like, my eyes get itchy and watery and, and I'm sneezed and I get all stuffed up and I almost start coughing and all, and like, I can't breathe. It's all sorts of things but it was funny because it's like you know half of it like was from crying half of it was from the allergies itself and so my eyes were all red and itchy and so I went to the pet store because I wanted to get Pippa some more canned food and some bones and stuff and um I went in there and I like kind of left my sunglasses on because my eyes were all red and puffy and everything from like all the different stuff and I was like having goop coming up I was like mm. <laughs> that's probably too much but yeah it's it's yeah, it's it's bad. Um, Stacy says uh, Goldens are the best. They are the best. Uh, big heart. Hope you and your family will be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. But it's just one of those things where you just gotta get over it. I just wanted to see if I could find here. My mom sent it last night. A really cute picture of Pippa and Maverick together because they are they are so cute. Um, I think I already have it, but I'm gonna save the picture again because they were. They were so cute together um, because she just loved steal, it loved her bones and he loved stealing them from her. That was his favorite act. A aviator. So sorry to hear about your buddy. So sorry for your loss. Yes. Good morning from Florida from granny loves coffee. Oh, Maggie Raynor says, yes, sad day. So sorry for your family's loss. I know. Susie Q says, good morning from rainy Wisconsin. Pia says, I'm so sorry for your family's baby dog. Yeah. Hugs to you, Brittany. Thank you. Water says, hello, um, working overtime while listening. Love from sunny Maryland. Hello. <laughs> DS says, has Megan Markle lost her ever loving mind? She's so desperate to make it in Hollywood. She's digging herself a big hole. Yes, because I think she looks, again, particularly incompetent. And that's just not a good look. Because what you want to be in business with are people who are really, really competent. So. 
so yeah and that is that's it kimberly says hit that like button yeah that would be awesome guys i always forget to say that grandma Dang says hello so sorry for your loss thank you luann says so sorry for loss of your maverick shadish says i'm um shadish says good morning i'm late but i'm here hello vicky says so sorry for your loss goldens are so Goldies are so loving. They are the best dogs, guys. <laughs> they really are. If I wasn't so deathly allergic, it would be, yeah, it, I would love it. But um, I am deathly allergic. <laughs> Not deathly, deathly, but I definitely am hugely allergic to dogs. It's so sorry. It's so bad. Uh, we have Ritz. Good morning from Chicago. Water is so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Elaine says dogs are so special. Wonderful memories. So sorry. Yes. Uh, don't worry, Brittany, you're, you're human and shouldn't feel pressure to look perfect all the time. I condolences for your family's loss. So I thank you. Why, thank you. Uh, Gemstone Girl says, so happy I made it. Hi, everyone from Bath, UK. Wendy says, so sorry for your loss. Pets are family. Yes. Tea Time with Mima says, so sorry for your loss. I hope the happy memories you hold in your heart bring all your family a small measure of comfort. They do. They do. And we enjoy talking about him and everything. So He's, he was awesome. Cindy says, good morning, all. And Brittany, SEJ says, oh, Brittany, we don't care about you, <laughs> about looks. You understand you look great anyways. Always having cute, unique sweaters and tops, hugs. Yes, I actually finally got something from Lululemon. And although it was sort of oversized, so it could add more volume when I don't really need it to. It also just, I love the color. I thought it looked awesome. Hi, Brittany. And happy, and everyone, happy Easter. Kimberly says, I don't think Hollywood is going to give Meghan Markle a chance. Her father won three Emmys. She went, they're thinking she owned Hollywood without putting in any work. Yes. And people were getting, um, looking to give her the benefit of the doubt. But at the same time too, at some point, it's like you, you gotta step it up. And she just has not done that yet. She, he says, so sorry for your loss, Miss B. My two-year-old lab was just diagnosed with nasal cancer. All oh. so giving her the best day until her the best until the day. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's so young. He was he was going to be 12 this year. So he was definitely getting up there. He couldn't really see any more. You can actually see his cataracts, how bad they were in his eyes. But um, yeah, he was he was getting there. Um, Cap says, hug, big hug is Ms. Brittany. Thank you. Asima says, any celebs still support Harry and Megan? I'm sure they do. Again, Hollywood is a place where you want to keep your friends closer and your enemies closer in some ways. And so I imagine they'll be kind to them, but not really that much barbara says hi everyone dp says so so difficult to lose the beautiful members of our families yes tanya says happy resurrection day tomorrow to all yes stacy says sometimes talent doesn't carry on in a family vein that is 100 percent true you see it all with the nepotism things all the time is that some people are really really great and some people are like oh yeah you didn't really have it probably to begin with <coughs> Excuse me. Sounds of enlightening says, sorry, so sorry for your family's loss. Why, thank you. Tom Taylor says, good morning, everyone. To my favorite person, heart, Miss Brittany. Thank you. Lady Jens, Jane says, we don't know what we don't know. So true. Vanessa says, happy Easter from Dallas. I'm hoping to make the Christmas trip. Oh, that would be awesome. I am so excited, guys. Again, it is uh, a Christmas market trip in Germany and the Czech Republic. I haven't been to Northern Germany, so we're going to Berlin and Dresden and going to Prague too. I actually had a dream trip of starting in Warsaw and Poland, going to Krakow because uh, I wanted to visit Auschwitz and that's sort of the biggest city to there. I do really love Krakow and then going to Prague and then doing Dresden and Berlin. And I was going to... Um, Focus on World War II and sort of the fire bombings there. But we will be going to the Green Vault in Dresden. I will make that happen to the best of my abilities. I don't want to promise, promise. But we usually have at least the way they did it before. And it looks like it's still this case. Like they have us for about half the day and then we have more free time. So I'm all for going to different museums and stuff if people want to. So always sort of want to see the bus in Nefertiti. But I may, may do that the day before and go, well, if you guys want to see it, it's cool. Um, so um, links for that is always down below. Oh, wow. Is that train story old? I presume. Yes, it is. It is from a bit ago, but I think only a year or two. It's not terribly old. <sighs> Becky says, I have not seen a, a members live yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. We do have them for Duke and Duchess and up. So if you are that level, hmm, I don't know. I'll try. I try to make a like a schedule so people can see. But we may do one for everyone every once in a while. I think that's good. So we'll try to do that for one next time. 
Rich says, I'm sure that Duke S is churning out those jams, jellies, and nut butters to get them all packed up. Yes. Yes. Danny says, I hope I'm not too late for the live stream. You are not. Oh, gosh. I can always get so behind in these. So uh, because you spoke about the, the Diddy thing and in the article about Rachel's debacle, you and and the channel are in the crosshairs, no notifications, et cetera. Might be. Yeah, I kind of considered that. I was like, am I not getting something? Because it's just, again, I'm just trying to, um, I just find, I find the story very interesting. Aw, Desert Mermaid said, I had to put one of my, do my dogs down this week too. It's always so sad. It was so sudden. But I'm glad I got to say goodbye because last time I didn't totally. So Gretchen, Brittany, I loved last night's video on ARO. I have an MABA and had the thought that Megan will either succeed or more likely end up a show big case study on how not to launch anything. Yes, 100%. Again, I'm so shocked. And I love that Ad Age came out with what they did because it's just, again, so good to go. Because everybody, I think, can learn something. It's like, this is just not how you do things. We have Mary Ann Bruce became a YouTube member. Thank you so much, Mary Ann. Uh, Tom Taylor says Prince William and Princess Catherine are very close to Princess Beatrice. Princess, um, Princess Eugenie, not so much. I actually don't think they're really all that close to either of them. Um, I've heard some things where it's, the girls didn't totally get along well while William and Catherine were dating. Uh, some of it was from Kate's side. Some of it was from Beatrice and Eugenie's side. Again, just the rumors I've heard. But um, because I don't I think sometimes we always there's always an effort to portray Catherine and William always as saints. And, you know, they're people, too. So there's definitely tensions that pop up. So, yeah. Um, so I think it's good to kind of see all sides. So, yeah. Uh, Isa Texas says that Brittany therapy only works if the patient tells the truth. Truth eludes Harry and Meghan. Well, I think I think it's sort of both. I think there's truth that he's not recognizing. And at the same time, too, he's sort of deluded. In the same way. It's just very sad. ARO, American Royal Outcast. That could work. And that's, oh gosh, the thing too. Again, I feel like somebody really smart would have seen through a lot of this. Uh, N uh, Nelly says, so sorry, Brittany. Megan's two favorite words are authentic and organic, neither of which she can come anywhere near. Yes, she's not authentic and she's not organic. She's utterly and completely contrived every single time her pauses, her phrasing. And I love Wendy. I mentioned her um, comment earlier, Wendy, her daughter came with me on my first trip to the UK with members. And it was so awesome because her daughter shared with me uh, a thought that Wendy had, which was that when it comes to the whole lip gloss debacle thing, Wendy says, and I think this is true is Megan was just trying to throw Catherine off her game. It's sort of an old actresses trick when they're both going in for the audition make one feel awkward or kind of um disrupt their train of thought and potentially disrupt their audition by asking them a question like hey can i borrow your lip gloss which again i find so unbelievably disgusting <laughs> personally i know others probably don't but i do genuinely find it very very disgusting just so disgusting uh, Alicia says, is it possible that Megan is cheap enough paying for top talent? Her brand is too new and very toxic to be considered prestigious. I, 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 I think that could definitely be the case. hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, Mary Ann Bruce became a YouTube member. I can't remember if I mentioned you or not, so I will do it again. Um, Lady Ader says Megan is nervous. She sees her popularity dropping in Hollywood. So she's trying everything as we see in the South as she's sweating like a whore in church. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where it definitely could be the case. Definitely could be the case. Cause I mean, I understand that she's so nervous, but at the same time too, all she has to do is show how her, her talents and stuff. And she just cannot seem to do it just cannot seem to do it. It's just very, very sad in a lot of ways. All right. And so let's keep going here. We also have Lou gifted five Royal News Network memberships. Thank you so much, Lou. That is so sweet. Blue Sky says, good morning. It's a cold morning here by Glacier Park, Montana. Happy Easter to you, Brittany and everyone. Uh, Brittany family and everyone here. Why, thank you. Uh, so, uh, so Sumi says a bad therapist airs your sessions online and diagnoses your family based on a TV show and tells you hallucinations you see are seeing are from illegal drugs. Are your are are you taking the are real? 
Gabor Mate. Yeah, he was terrible, man. That was a terrible interview. Oh gosh, the thing was an hour and a half, and I was just like, oh my gosh, is this is this misery over yet? It was just so bad. Aurora the Goddess says, I would like to speak to you off of live. My story deserves to be told. I desperately need of saving my family. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. So, yeah, we shall see. I uh, Raven79 says, no, UKPR agency wants to work with her. Ouch. I haven't heard that quite yet, but that is very interesting. Um, Yeah, we shall see. And, yeah. Um, Aurora, you can always email me, editor at royalnewsnetwork.com. And guys, I should have mentioned too, if you see any, because it could definitely pop up any um, trolls or anything, just go ahead and just um, report them. Don't engage, just report and um, or block, and then they'll usually be taken off. Lisa says, will Megan be adding Bibles and golden sneakers to her inventory? Probably. She'll probably add anything. Again, it's just very, very odd. Good morning, Vanessa from Denver. I think ARO is a bad idea for this time frame because why would you launch something big when you're so disliked and go and go will buy something from someone with a bad rep? Yes. And again, my suggestion would be it's create just one thing that's really, really good. Just one thing that's really, really good. Focus on that and then everything else will probably come our way um, or not our way, but everything will sort of go from there. Viral Emmett says, I'm not sure... She is dim. I think she knows how to get attention and it works. I'm not sure she ever really intends to work on anything. No, no. Oh, Jocelyn says, please, God, please help Mary Harry and Megan against those fake YouTubers who never stopped spreading malicious rumors and lies. I actually go by and I'm very particular about this. I go off mainstream reports. I make logical conclusions about things. And usually I end up being right. Not all the time, but usually I end up being right. So not spreading malicious rumors and lies, just merely telling the truth and offering conjecture that is good i will always say if i like a Meghan markle outfit i rarely do but i will say it and i will say sometimes if i don't like a Catherine outfit because i think that's authentic so that is you're welcome to believe what you want but we're gonna be we're gonna look at things we're gonna look at things holistically and accurately here all right sue me says i like it sue me sue m but it could also be like sue me <laughs> That doesn't, doesn't really make any sense now that I'm thinking about it. Again, guys, the brain a little foggy, a lot of allergies, a lot of stuffiness. Brain is a little little slow this morning. <laughs> uh, Sue says, thanks for your tire, tireless on your site, Brittany. Just made a donation to Canine Cancer Alliance in Mavericks on all love and support to your family at this sad time. Why, thank you. Wait, thank you. He would appreciate that. Yeah, apparently they were saying they took an x-ray in January and didn't see anything. And now like it fully encompasses like his right side or something. So this moved very, very fast. And he was going downhill really, really fast. So <sighs> very sad, very sad. Katie says, I like how Catherine has helped William and brings out the best in him. Yes, because that's what a good partner should do. Good partners should bring out the best in you. Sandra says, dreary afternoon here in the Netherlands. So a good moment to check in on your live chat. Awesome. I, I Well, I don't think I'll go now. I was kind of debating whether or not to go to the Netherlands sort of right before the um, the Swedish trip. If we go, I still might. I still might, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I was going to search through my pictures for our dog. Uh, Hund us says too bad Harry couldn't have met a gal similar to Catherine what a difference that would have made for the RF yeah somebody can you, it, again Megan brings out the worst in Harry Harry brings out the worst in Megan and they're I guess a match made in heaven or yeah <laughs> uh, Fire Mountain says hey if anyone wants to pay overpriced cheaply made stuff God bless them she has she will have to sell a lot to pay her costs yes and I wonder too if she's filing all these trademarks hopefully hoping to get an investor but again, it, from a business perspective, and I'm not the best business person in some ways, but I can generally recognize probably something that's a pretty good idea. Like, for example, Jared, no, Joshua Kushner. So brother of Jared Kushner, who's married to Ivanka Trump. Uh, his brother, Joshua, is married to Carly Kloss, the model. And apparently they're bringing back a Life magazine. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's kind of dumb. Nobody buys magazines anymore. <laughs> I buy old Life magazines and I would still buy old Life magazines. But I don't think I would buy 
a new one. And he like they want to bring back joy or something. And I'm like, I just don't think that's a very good idea. But I mean, I guess you guys are wealthy, so you know, more power to you. But again, it's just not a best I a great idea. And I don't think necessarily this is a best idea either for Megan. But yeah. Alisa uh, says the only way she can possibly have a successful business is for her to be a silent partner and with no use of her name. She needs to decide between love of money or her narcissism in order to succeed uh, for her success. I agree. I agree. I agree. I think her name could in some ways sink all of this. It could be wildly successful, but I think in many ways too, it, it sinks it. Um, and she needs to realize as well as because she's not super duper popular, sometimes it's best for her to take a back seat on things. And so she just doesn't seem to want to do that. And I think that's a, she's taking a big risk in a lot of ways. So Definitely 100% not her her best ideas for sure. I think she could like end up having something that's really successful, but she's going to have to work on it. And I think, again, she needs to focus on not making everything about the title and just make it about making good products. That's all you have to do. Make good products. Make good products and other things will come your way. So, yeah. Okay. So uh, Stacey says, so she's trying to entice investors and sellers who want to showcase their products on her website, probably. But again, I just think this is a super bad idea. Baby says, uh, please, what do you think about the rumor about the king's pancreatic cancer? I don't want to speculate on what cancer he has or what timeline he has. I just don't want to go there. <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. Some crazy pants. So yes, as for somebody who is asking, Kate is fine. She is in Sandringham right now. She's recovering from her cancer treatments or she's in the process of getting them and recovering from surgery still. So I don't know why you're still asking, where is Kate to this particular person? Um, Cuban Angel says, hello, Brittany from NYC. Long time, never written in before. Oh, thank you so much for doing so. And we have Anya D. I don't think Megan is self-aware enough to know she's not popular. And anyone who would give her a good info on herself is fired. Yes. I think she's also pretty deluded and thinking that, well, they just, it's either fake or it's just all hate. And so she can just ignore it, which I just don't think is the best thing to do. Some of it comes from very legitimate places. Um, I try, again, guys, I don't try to make fun of her appearance. I will say her fashion is bad, but I don't try to make fun of her physical appearance. I don't call her names. The reason I don't is because it's it's called an ad hominem debating practice, basically. If you attack the person and said the argument, that means that you don't really have a good response to the argument. I think I have good responses to the argument. And so I never attack her as a person, really. I always talk about what she's doing and analyze it, criticize it, those sorts of things. Because I think that puts you on a better playing field. And she's not self-aware enough to know that, and you know, all of her supporters too, who call everything you say, hey, it's like, it's not hate, it's criticism. It's different. Hate is, is yes, people do nasty things and say nasty things about Megan, but I generally try not to associate with those people. I generally try to do um, things I think are appropriate. I don't particularly like, like name calling because at some point that name calling is directed at you and it's not fun. So I don't try to do it to her. Because I just don't think it's appropriate. I think that's a better way to go. Sharon says, uh, Sharon gives a, a super sticker. Thank you so much, Sharon. Liz E says, limited edition calligraphy pen, which I think is so funny. I just think that's such a funny thing to be working on. A calligraphy pen. Those exist. And again, she does fancy cursive. It's not real calligraphy. I hate that she calls it calligraphy. Because calligraphy to me is like medieval style writing. What she does is not calligraphy. I mean, it works. It's great for weddings and stuff. And Sammy says, did you read Lady C's book? The monarch has to approve the marriage. And the queen was hesitant about the background report on Meghan. And Harry said he would accuse them of racism if they didn't approve. Yes, I have read her book. I don't know. So it is true. Yes, if you are, I believe, six and up in the line of succession, you do need to get the monarch's approval to get married. And I don't know whether or not uh, that if they had a background, if the queen was hesitant or not, I don't think at that point, I think she was just like, 
I think most of them were like, well, we're, we're unsure about her, but we want to give her the benefit of the doubt. And that's a good Christian thing to do. So I can't really criticize her for that. Fortunately, Megan did show her true colors really, really quickly. And she probably didn't deserve that benefit of the doubt, but they gave it to her. And I, I don't think that's particularly bad. McSinder G says, I would pay a higher price, such as from High Grove site to support charity, but not one just sent to enrich um, Harry and Meghan. Yes. Yes. I don't think, I think that will turn a lot of people off. Uh, Eileen says, I wonder how Flamenco State's founders are feeling. I don't know. I don't know if they care. It's, it just depends. We don't even know what her products look like, so we can't even tell how much she's ripping off. And generally, too, it's like there's so many products that offer soaps and stuff. She's going to overlap with a lot of different people. Gretchen says, launch a brand with a lot of trademarks, but no products. Look to hire a CEO after you launch. I'm sure this will work out great. Yeah. <laughs> CDR says, could it be that she's using this to refocus any attention back onto herself? Would they be going to the UK? May. If so, will they be welcome to stay on royal properties? They will always be welcome to stay on royal properties. They have to give it an official warning, like how long they will be there. Then they will get assigned a place. They don't get to choose. Probably they will be assigned because I think, why they lost uh, Frogmore Cottage was not because of everything they've done. Yes, that was a part of it. But a big part of it was is that they invited Netflix crews there. They were taking unauthorized pictures. They were invading other people's privacy in order to enrich themselves. And that's where the monarchy had to go, you know what? No, you can't do that. You can't invade other people's privacies. You're risking all of our safety in order to enrich yourself. And you're bringing other people on the properties that we don't really know what their intentions are. You say they're X, but they could be Y. And especially, I think, if they lied about whoever was coming on the property, if they weren't clear about who they were and what they were doing there, the palace is like, no, we can't trust you. So anytime they get on palace properties, they will not get free reign. I imagine they'll be watched very, very closely. They cannot bring whoever they want to on the properties. That'll be part of part of staying on there, which they won't want to do. Jane Bucks fan says, did she file a bunch of trademarks based on her daughter's name? Uh, did she not do that for her son? I don't know. Uh, she, I mean. Sometimes, too, you do have to buy things to avoid people using them. But at the same time, yeah, I don't know. It's it's hard to know for sure. Maggie says, in my opinion, Chelsea was lucky. Harry was always a jerk. You saw him clearly lunge at her, getting up to dance. William doing his dad dancing, saw it and distracted him. Yeah, I don't think they were generally. I mean, she did escape. But I, I think she. it's sad because I think she was one of the few women who dated him who was really actually in love with him and not just his title and money because she doesn't really care about that. And JP says, interesting theory. Meghan Markle brother had a podcast um, guest share. Meghan Markle intentionally wears bad outfits to garner pity for being harassed for wardrobe and play victim. Yes, I can think that definitely is partially true, but I also think she genuinely wants to be stylish and she just wants to buy the most expensive thing out there in order to try to look good. <laughs> and Oh, sorry. Um, the thing is, is that good fashion, you just choose it because it looks good and that's it. So, yeah. Sorry if you got feedback when I was moving it. I just wanted to adjust it. Jane Kelly says, good morning and offered a tip. Thank you so much, Jane. And one of my earliest members. Didn't Meg tell Harry it's okay not to be royal in an interview? I don't remember that particularly, but she did. Then, she, but she, and again, she's not clear because she's desperate to be royal. It's so weird. Allison says it's called a future faking common with narcissists. Interesting. Oh, we have Sarah who became a YouTube member. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, Mick Cinder says your talent and passion outsides all of Megan's resources. Why? Thank you. And again, Megan Markle, I think if she had something she was really passionate about, she can make things really successful. But I think her sole passion is just making money. And generally, people are not going to catch on if your just sole objective is to make money. People see through that. You need to have a passion about something. Again, you can make fun of Goop, but Gwyneth Paltrow, I think, is passionate about most of the products she puts on there. And so it's like, well, you can't really fault her. Becky says, I read somewhere where Megan is going her own way and not including Harry in any ventures, but she's the Duchess title. Harry must be blind in love. Hope he wakes up soon. Well, and he's also stuck. She's alienated him from all his friends, all his family, his country. So his job, like so many things, the guy has nothing to fall back on now. And so she has basically sole control over his life in some ways. 
Uh, Kevin says, Brittany, the difference might be you love what you do. What she loves other than Hollywood is, yeah, it's so true. She loves money and that's her sole motivator. And I think, again, that's what's not working. Is that when your sole motivator is money, that means you're not putting any passion into any of your projects. So that means the end result is kind of, well, kind of disappointing and just not all that great because the purpose is you need, you need to put passion behind things. And if you have a vision, if you have a passion for something you want to see, uh, not all the time, because sometimes, you know, maybe the market's just not there, but it'll oftentimes maybe come together and maybe you won't be uber successful. Maybe you'll be somewhat successful because you'll find that little niche that's perfect for you. And I think that's a great thing. Uh, Don says, Brittany, don't be envious of Megan. It proves you are self-sufficient and real people can be successful without all the money she is throwing away. That is, that is true. That is true. But yeah, I, oh man, there's so many things I would do with that level of resources. <laughs> Sean Schul says, do you think that Princess Elizabeth of the Belgians will ever wear the Brabant tiara? I think she will. Belgium just has a really, really small collection. So I sort of understand why maybe her mom is still keeping that one perhaps for herself, but she does have the nine provinces her mom does, which is an excellent and beautiful tiara. And so she does have her own that they purchased for her. So I think in many ways she will continue to utilize that one, uh, but she has more in the wolf furs as well. So I think we'll see her expand and, and wear other things, but I think it will take some, some time as well to see what we got. Allison says, what is Megan's, um, what if Megan's secret investor it, in Flamenco's estate is now getting kicked back from all the press they're getting because of her? I mean, it could be true. They could have even started that rumor going, well, look, Megan's Markle stuff is closer to ours. Look at that. Yeah. Allison McDonald, thank you so much for the tip. Hi, Britt. Do you think Harry will appear in the Netflix cooking show or the kids? Harry has been very quiet recently, which has been odd. Yes, I definitely think that is 100% possible. 100% that is possible. Um, I think Harry probably feels in a lot of ways um, if they can make it sort of a family project, I think would actually help Megan's brand if she could make it more of a family project with the kids um, and everything. But yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a bit hard too, and so it'll be it'll, it'll be interesting to see because she's again so weird about the kids, and yet at the same time she still also desperately needs the kids and her husband in order to sort of get the attention that she desperately needs. So again, we shall see what she ends up doing. But yeah, it'll be they definitely <laughs> definitely an interesting couple. Let's be honest. They are definitely a very, very interesting couple. Okay, let's see. Catherine says, wait, she loves herself. Could she market on her own makeup, jewelry, and clothing? Yes, she probably could. She probably could. Um, Jackie says, Palace, uh, Jackie, yeah, Jackie says, Palace Confidential with Joe Elvin and Richard Eden and Ricker um, and Rebecca English. Yes. Oh, PC is Palace Confidential. Yeah from earlier. Thank you. And thank you. I was confused because it's like, oh, but yeah, I haven't actually watched an episode of that yet, but I probably should because that would be kind of not totally what I'm going for, but hopefully at some point again, I can have guests, but I will start it off with the podcast with, it'll be a premiere. So I'll premiere it at a particular time. And then at some point we will get back to doing it, um, doing it live, but I just can't, I, I just can't see myself being able to do it live right now. I tried it and I was like, couldn't be perfect without stumbling over myself quite a bit. So I'll have to get to the place where I can do things off the cuff live pretty well. So that'll take just a little bit of practice. I mean, every time I do it, my, my goal would be is to do the whole thing without really, really messing up. But that again, might take a while to achieve. <laughs> Uh, Becky says, Deborah says, I thought Marcus Anderson and Scooby-Doo were a thing that I do not know that I do not know, but some people have, have mentioned or speculated on that. Again, I don't know for sure. Asma says, uh, Sussex squad were exposed for doxing the princess of Wales. Yes. And so they kind of, kind of went, um, goodness, um, kind of went, it, I mean, I exposed it a bit. I think people are giving, maybe getting a little too excited about it going away, I don't think it, it will be, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Water says, my, when my mom had cancer on her good day, she went out. She hated being stuck inside because her treatments 
made her bed rested. Yes. And there's times where you do have to stay away. Again, if I was sick, I would not meet with somebody who had cancer just as a, a an abundance of caution. But at the same time, too, I think there's a good thing to living your life and not being so scared of, of everything. Um, cause, and yeah, sometimes the doctor will say hundred percent, don't go out and see people, you know, obviously utilize your doctor's advice. But at the same time, I think, especially when it comes to Charles, if he could see his grandchildren, like even the whales is, and especially the Sussex kids, he should see them. Hold on one second, guys. Oh, here's my fur baby. We got Ms. Pippa in the house, guys. See, hello, Miss Pippa. Say hello. Do you see? Do you see? Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious is me. I don't, it's hard because I keep her right here, but then she's in the way of the mic. And I can hold her right here. Do you see Maverick? Oh, she wanted to go see him. Yeah, he's a good girl. Good girl. Okay. She loves it so much. Oh, she's the sweetest. Oh, we have Liz E. Gifted five Royal News Network memberships. Thank you so much, Liz. That is so sweet of you. We have Heidi. Hello from Minnesota. Bebop says the Sydney twins father gave us a fabulous explanation of how various picks were manipulated, including Hassan. He has a gravitas, has been in showbiz since 1972 and is certified an expert witness at trial. Yes. And again, guys, everything is manipulated. All the pictures are manipulated. Um. It's just so, it should be just such an easy, easy thing. Oh, Judy J says, so sorry for your family's loss. Why, thank you. Ah, oh, Shalom. Tal Rule says, Shalom from Tel Aviv. Hello. Um, I hope maybe there might be a, a um, trip with the church next year to go to Israel, and I'd love to go. I'd love to go. Um, uh, Mar Margarita says nowadays chemo, especially preventive, is not so awful as people think. Last year when I had mine, I was able to do quite normal life, including everyday walk for many kilometers with my dogs. Yes, I, th I think it all depends, and it, it just needs to be just a little. Obviously, people need to take precautions, but at the same time, too, yeah, it's not debilitating. And sometimes, too, it's like the person I know they kind of tell their doctors, "Hey, I don't want to take X because I think." X is what's making me feel actually the worst out of everything. And so when they do that, sometimes things um, don't go too bad. Choco Cookie says, gifted five Royal News Network memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, a fire element says, thank God for our furry friends. A bit of sanity in this world. Yes, they just offer us so much love. They're so sweet. Uh, Jane Kelly says, I don't understand. Is she about feminism or about being some kind of American socialite from the Gilded Age? What does she stand for? The a ARO site website is totally opposite of feminism. It is because she wants to be a feminist, yet she's seen doing very, you could say, old fashioned things or, you know, a woman being about the house type things like a stay at home mom in the video. Again, branding is is not is not there. It's not there. I don't know what it, ARO is supposed to be about. I don't. I really don't know. And that's just a huge problem because she, the whole brand is, is based on her. And so she can't produce and share what she, what she's actually doing. She, she's just going to have an issue. Oh, Eyes of Texas says, gosh, what a pretty boy. Nothing sadder than coming home without your precious dogs. Males are so sweet. Yeah, he was the best. He was the best. So um, it'll be weird to go to my parents' house tomorrow for Easter and not have him come and greet me. But it was so sweet because last time I went over to their house, which was actually earlier this week, um, they have a puppy. And uh, I mean, he's like almost two now, but he's just kind of wild and all over the place. And so he kind of like, you know, just jumps all over you and stuff. But it was nice because I walked into their house and Maverick came to greet me and there were no other dogs around. So he could greet me how he wanted to, which was so sweet. So I'll, I'll treasure that. That was kind of a nice Nice little treat. Uh, Ritz says, dogs bring so much love to our lives. It's profoundly painful to lose them. It is. Julie, um, Julia says, so sorry for your loss, Brittany. Here in Germany, RF made the cover of most famous news magazine, Der Spiegel, this week. Oh, wow. That's a big, big deal. I also heard that um, uh, that German newspapers are kind of hard to read because they're very technical in their writing and stuff. I don't know. I've, I've, I met some German girls in there telling me that, which is interesting. Uh, Danielle says, is Pippa okay? Pippa is is perfectly fine. We just lost our uh, family dog, Maverick. So he was 11 
And she and him had this sort of special dynamic. So he liked to eat their food. And it was so sweet because um, I found this picture here real quick. And so this is her staring him down as he's looking at their food and she's like guarding it. <laughs> she's a little scraggly there, but she's so cute. And he's just there like, I want to, he's like, I'm not looking at the food. I'm not looking at the food, but he's a hundred percent looking at the food, hundred percent looking at the food. So, um, all right. And so uh, Cindy says, two messages combined. So sorry for your loss, prayers and condolences. Catherine was known as Kate until she married into the royal family. She requested everyone use Catherine. And I think, too, it might have been just a bit start of uh, an attempt to do a bit of a rebrand, which is totally fine. Um, I, You know, and kind of losing the Kate Middleton, weighty Katie type of thing. Totally understand her wanting to lose that. Totally understand. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been hard to shake. Unfortunately, once you're known as something, it's really hard for people to change it. It's just, it just is. Tracy said, McPherson says, uh, Meghan Markle, I believe doesn't have uh, the following to break into already oversaturated markets. Humpty do Australia. Thank you so much, Tracy. I appreciate your tip. And yes, like there's nothing particularly interesting about Megan. And when it comes to the Olsen twins breaking into the fashion market, fashion is very, very hard, not only to break into, but to be successful in because everything's kind of sort of been done already. So you have to have a really, really good visionary mind to make it work. And so they were able to do it. But it took them a while and they had to really work on their craft and they had to make it good. And they had to set themselves apart by saying, you know, what, we're going to make the most exceptionally tailored pieces you will ever see. And um, they did set, suffer a little bit of a setback, obviously, with the pandemic and the sh um, closing of Bloomingdale's because that was one of their biggest accounts. No, was it Bloomingdale's? Was it? <laughs> yes, it might have been Bloomingdale's. That seems odd. I feel like I'm missing Bloomingdale's Bergdorf Goodman. Was there something else? I mean, I, it wasn't Saks. I think it was Bloomingdale's. Anyways, um, they may have had a, like a physical store in Bloomingdale's and then was one of their biggest accounts. But um, yeah, they're, they're, they're so markets can be oversaturated, but you can make an impact. You just got to be really, really strategic. And this doesn't seem strategic to me at all. This just seems to me throwing up mud on the wall. Uh, randomness 5050 says, love that you avoid name calling and keep things classy. It looks like you're doing minimal makeup today, but you're really pretty just saying. Why, thank you. Yes. Yesterday was rough. We lost our dog Maverick. And in addition, you know, because you, you know, you're crying when you lose your dog. I am also very allergic to dogs. So um, my eyes got really itchy and irritated. So I'm just trying not to put too much makeup really on the face and eyes in particular. There's very light makeup on my eyes just because they just got so irritated and red because I'm scratching, I'm watering, not just from crying, but from the allergies. So you have like this like trip, like, you know, like double combination of things. I'm still like really stepped up. Couldn't sleep well last night. So many things. <laughs> Pia says, uh, became a YouTube member. Why? Thank you so much, Pia. We have Jason Lee says, anyone else think it would be amusing if they scheduled Princess of Wales to do a cancer event or visit a cancer ward on 8th of May when Harry's doing the Invictus things? Oh, I didn't realize they had a date for the Invictus stuff yet. Um, No, they, they she won't be doing anything yet. I, I really don't think. This is just my theory. I don't really think we'll see Catherine fully back doing engagements until the fall, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, they usually take a break for a month and a half between uh, mid-July and September. So they're usually off all of August. Uh, they do part of July, but mostly that's Wimbledon. So we may see her at Wimbledon. We may see her at Trooping the Color, but it depends on how well she's doing. Again, if she's getting certain kind of chemo treatments, she may be doing a cold cap to try to keep her hair. She may end up losing her hair. We don't know if she does. I understand that she might want to take a little bit of time. Again, all depends on what exactly the treatment is and what impact it is having. Okay. Uh, Wendy says, hi, Brittany. Do you think that Bozy's behavior will hurt Megan's new brand? It seems like the guy is off the rails and Harry and Megan has such a close association with him. Yes, I feel like he really, 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 that they really, really need to take a step back from him and distance themselves publicly from him and the Sussex squad. Um, Cause it kind of looked complicit. He was in their video and yes, people who are in your video don't necessarily reflect your beliefs, but he is so going so full steam on them that I just don't think it's necessarily really, really good luck. Tam L says, do you think Meghan Markle is disappointed with the number she has on Arrow uh, has accumulated until now? I would, if I was her, I'd be massively disappointed. 
massively disappointed. Uh, Judith says many YouTubers feel frustrated with the lack of Meghan Markle's work ethic and all the tools and money to make her endeavor successful. Yes, because I find it very frustrating because <laughs> just because it's like you should be doing so well. How are you doing so badly? I don't understand. I don't understand. Danielle says, oh, sorry. Sorry to hear about Maverick's passing. Although when I thought it was Pippa, I lost my breath. My, I'm a dog trainer. I have two Cavaliers who are to me what Pippa is to you. Much love. Why, thank you. Yes, he was um, our only dog for a while. So it's just very sad lose him then uh Catherine says what does make a Merkel's talent keep looking for one just cannot find so I think she's good at BSing if I'm gonna be quite quite clear she's good at hustling I think at networking but she just doesn't have very good follow through she just doesn't I think at some point that's just gonna come back Bebop says Brittany so sorry for your loss I love that we're a doggo and kitty community yes it's so sad so sad for my poor Pippa because she's going to miss her Maverick. He, they used to, like, when we boarded them, sometimes we would put Magri Maverick with them because he was just so gentle with her and my sister's dog, Bella, who are all the same size. Fire Elementa says, how much does each copyright cost or trademark? I'm not sure, but I'm sure every time they file one, it does cost something. And again, part of it is just to protect the brand, and I get that, but I also feel like it looks really bad when you have no other products and you're constantly trademarking things. It's like, get a stinking product to the market. I don't care what it is. It could be as simple as a tote bag with a cool saying on it or something. You can do that, like totally easy. Rachel says, do you think Megan is using the new brand to get a big tax break on her home or any other extravagant purchases they might make? Maybe, maybe not, because it depends on what they use in the videos and the content. If they're not using a bunch of stuff, then maybe, maybe um, she's just, uh, it's just not going to look very good. Angie says, I met Gabor in... San Diego, he was interesting. LOL, I'm a therapist myself. I mean, I think he's probably interesting. I just don't think he's best best um with um that interview. Just I, I don't think it made he I think ended up regretting it, feeling sort of pressured into it. And then at the end of the day, he's like, Oh, that was kind of stupid. Uh Becky says, every other Thursday we do a members only live. Now Brittany has a phone in option too. Yes, which is awesome. Lindsay says, hi, Brittany. Apologies for you answered this. But I was wondering what your initial impression of Megan when she first started dating Harry. I have mentioned this, but I'm, I'm perfectly happy to tell you again. Uh, the, the first thing I thought was that she was a desperate Hollywood actress who had a middling to no part who needed a bit of attention and met him one time and is faking a relationship for the publicity. <laughs> That is essentially what I thought of her. And my initial impression, even after it was confirmed they were dating, and I was like, she just seems like, and again, I, I used to read In Touch Us Weekly People magazine all the time uh, before I went to Sans paper. And I just always thought, to me, in my opinion, she just always seemed like somebody who was always desperate for attention and never getting it. And that she was a middling bad actress. And she desperately needed this to get a little bit of head. That's what I thought of her. And I don't think my assessment was too far off. Sadly. Could have been totally proven wrong. But that was just my initial impression of her. Because it just seemed like she came out of left field and she had not, like, I never heard of her name before. Brittany, do you think Meghan Markle threatens Harry? He acts like a slave. I don't think he, she threatens him, but I don't think they have a healthy dynamic. That would just be my thought. I don't think they have a healthy dynamic. <laughs> SCJ says, Brittany, funny you said that there's a YouTuber called Sumi who uh, covers Royals. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know. My brain is just a little, again, foggy brain a little bit this morning. Sharon says, Brittany, your new setup looks great and the sound is awesome. I'm praying for all your family at this time. Why, thank you. And yes, like I said, guys, I will be sticking with this format for even my other videos. I was not planning on doing that, but being able to put pictures and videos and, and, and websites and stuff that I'm reading automatically into the video. Oh my goodness, does that make editing faster? It makes it a lot faster for me. And anything I can do to cut down on editing would be a good thing. Don says, why does the press continue to get them free publicity? Because people click on the links. They just do. They just do. Oh, Isaac Texas said, gosh, I didn't know Maverick, but I'm crying. It brings to mind putting my precious cat Angel to sleep. I'm so sorry for your mom. Why, thank you. Yeah, she's very close to, I mean, she watches like, you know, all the dogs and stuff and she's home most of the time. So he was, he's funny though. He was just kind of his own independent boy and he would just sleep. He had the funniest sleeping positions. Uh, James Bucks, that is Reese Witherspoon, I think. If you're talking about Draper James, yes. Draper James is Reese Witherspoon's brand. 
Um, and I, I, I like the stuff. I haven't purchased anything from it because I think it's a little pricey and I'm, I'm trying to be conscientious about that kind of stuff. But yeah, it looks interesting. Aletha says, good morning, Brittany from Boston. Happy Easter. Why, thank you. Why, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, Isaac Texas says, I can't imagine how many lawsuits Meghan Markle will be confronted with. That product is ridiculous. I don't know if she'll be. Um, uh, I don't know if she'll be lawsuits for that as much as utilizing the name American Revere. I think that'll get her in trouble. Yeah. Uh, so Karen says, I've unsubscribed from all channels who just criticize Meghan Markle's um, clot, feet, hair. I couldn't care less about what she looks like. It's her hypocritical behavior that baffles me. Yes, that's what I like. I like, that's why I like to focus on. Because again, when it comes to looking at how people argue things, it's always good. If people automatically start attacking you and send the argument, they don't really have anything to say to the argument. They have to attack you because they can't attack the argument. And so that's called an ad hominem. And so I, I'm familiar with that. I don't like it. And that's why, again, I always, always stick to what are the arguments? What are the, the, the behaviors I can criticize? Because that's, that's, um, that's what I mean. That's what I feel like is appropriate. Jackie says, totally agree. They brought other people to Frogmore Cottage too risky. Yes, 100%. Again, you have to keep the royal property safe. Harry and Meghan were, I think, bringing people that the monarchy didn't know and they can't trust them. So they're like, okay, you can come to our properties. It's totally fine. They're always welcome, 100%. You are going to be under scrutiny. You cannot bring whoever you want on these properties. You have to, they have to do a background check via us. I think you got a little bit more relay before then. Uh, Tori says, I criticize Meghan Markle's personality and fashion. The one thing I've said about her looks is mentioning her plastic surgery. I don't think she's beautiful because of her personality, not because of her looks. Uh, yes, I, I see that. And I, I don't mention plastic surgery because again, I don't know what. And honestly, to you guys, my always opinion is, is if you want to do plastic surgery, hey, that's that's your right. I can't really criticize that because I think a lot of celebrities do it and we just don't know about it. And I think, you know, if somebody wants to feel better about themselves, I don't really have an issue with that. I have an issue with people saying they haven't had plastic surgery when they have or telling us they lost the late weight naturally when they were doing Ozempic. Those are the things I have a problem with because I think that sets unrealistic expectations. Um, because obviously one of the things that's been widely speculated is that. Uh, Bella Hadid has had plastic surgery to kind of look the way she does to get the, like the perfect eyebrow arch and so many things. And um, if she has that fine, but I also don't feel like she should tell people, well, I just woke up looking like this one day. I'm like, cause that sets the expectations for all girls that they will one day wake up looking like Bella Hadid when maybe she had a decent amount of plastic surgery done, which is, I mean, again, she can do that. She looks great on the catwalk. She does it really well, but, but, I don't like it when people lie about it. Because again, think for young girls, that sets a really, really bad bar. Cher says, I disagree with giving them the benefit of the bow. The policy needs to require an apprenticeship before they give anyone a title and make them working royals. Use um, the um, line of succession, but find out who fits the job. I mean, I agree. But again, I cannot necessarily fault them with wanting to give her the benefit of the doubt. Because I think that is a good thing. Because what if they were wrong? What if their initial impressions were wrong? They weren't, but they could have been. Sammy says, Megan wants to be adored. She does, but she doesn't want to do any of the work. She just thinks because she simply exists, she should be adored. And again, that's not how the world works. You need to actually do work and stuff. So, uh, good point, Sammy. Yes, she just wants to be adored simply for existing and thinking she's special. Uh, Gretchen says, Brittany, do you think there will be an ARO MM cooking show? The South Park episode practically writes itself. It could. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny. I almost want them to do it just for the parody uh, parodies of it. Just for the parodies of it. Uh, Maria says, Brittany, is Harry uh, bringing any money to their bank accounts? Everything now seems to be Megan. Doesn't seem like it. And I don't know how that sets them up for divorce. I know people say things are split 50-50 in California, but we don't know. Like she could gut his entire inheritance and then they're just left splitting their estate, which maybe only be the house, which is 14 million or something. And then he's out a lot of money because they spent all their money trying to like support her and nothing went everywhere and they ended up losing a lot. So uh, Kyle says, how do I get one of those gifted memberships? It would be most welcome as I cannot afford it. So you can get it by clicking something. I can't quite remember. And that you can, you're interested in getting a gifted membership if um, 
if, if it's available, I, I think you have to click settings somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly how you do it. Gina says, hi, Brittany from Las Vegas. I think Megan Markle's cooking show gives her a family oriented platform to soften her image. Also give Netflix what they always wanted, an inside look into their life. Yes. And that's why they probably desperately need to include the kids and Harry in it. That would help her a lot. The problem is, is that she's too controlling, I think, to fully be authentic. That's, that's I think, the, the issue. And McDonald says, uh, Pals Confidential is an excellent show. Lots of in-depth analysis from reporters and the bit, journalists in the biz. They know their stuff. Yes. And that's what I like is talking to people. Like there's a couple of people I've thought of who I follow in different countries with Royals. So I thought, oh, they would be fun to have on the show at some point. Ah, oh, I miss Pippa. Yeah. She's sleeping on the Ugg blankie below me. She's kind of, oh, Pippa's barking, making my big German shepherd go wild. She, she's in love with the neighbor's chihuahuas. She thought they were calling her. That's so cute. That's so cute. Did you guys ever wonder? This is so dumb. In the 101 Dalmatians movie, the dogs have like this little like calling thing where they, you know, they're like barking and they're talking. It's like a game of telephone with dogs. And I wonder, I was like, do dogs actually do that? They probably really don't. But I just think that's such a funny idea. <laughs> oh, man. Nancy says, thank you for the membership. Yes. Uh, Helen Palace Confidential is a great talk about the good and the bad. Yeah, I think it's, it sounds to me like what more I um, am interested in eventually doing. Um, Zandane says, hello from Denmark. Love it when I can make a live right now. I have no serious opinions of the Harkles. They seem to be just doing everything wrong all the time. My thoughts are with the RF. Yes, they do do everything wrong, like all the time. <laughs> all the time. So we'll probably just try to wrap this up here in just a minute because I'm just, again, I haven't, I didn't sleep well last night. So um, we'll just go ahead and look and see if we have anything else here that's kind of interesting. Uh, Carol says, I have seen women discussing the trad wife or traditional wife fad. Many like the idea, even though it seems opposite of the feminist woman. Megan seems like a fan of that. She could be in some ways, which would be so weird because she makes such a fuss about feminism too. Again, but she's not great at messaging because I think she just jumps from trend to trend. She doesn't have actually really any strong held beliefs in some way. In some ways. Goodness. Megan was raised in Hollywood. Wonder if she's selling access to Harry like Harry sold access to Andrew. Could be. Could be. Lucy says, good morning, Brittany from Las Vegas. Been feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the royal news lately. How are you doing? I am okay. Uh, we did lose our dog yesterday, our family dog, not Pippa. Pippa's fine. But um, yeah, so that has been a bit hard and kind of definitely it's been a really rough, weird week. So Sharon says, so sorry um, that you lost the family dog. I lost butter last year. My poodle of 25 years. Wow. Now we have a new baby named Coco Chanel praying for you and your family at this time. Why, thank you. Thank you so much. Jane Buck says, fan says, I love Pioneer Women's Clothing. She didn't start doing it until after her houseware brand was successful. Yes. Again, Megan needs to start small, create like the perfect dish in terms of like the perfect pan or something. Again, I think that would show passion for the products and not just, I want money. If that makes sense. <laughs> um, uh, Peace now says our prime minister, Janissa Arden really liked Megan. I mean, a, a lot of people did. Some people didn't. Liz E says, um, yes, she was so looking for attention. She is looking for attention quite a bit, quite a bit. Judy J says, it's all sad to what's happened to Harry. He made his rotten mistakes, but he used to be so lovely. Sad, yes. And I think, again, he would have been able to manage it better, but things are sad. Um, for I do feel sad for him. I do feel sad for him because I think sometimes he is very confused about how things went so bad. And I do feel sad about that. He should know, but I also understand why he he's so like, he's so confused and says in her engagement interview, she was asked if she was nervous about what she was taking on. And she said that having finished up several years of suit, she was ready for the next stage of her life. Phew. Yes. But she wanted again, lots of money and Royals don't have that. If you wanted lots of money, you need to marry Prince Albert of Monaco. Just saying. Uh, Esther says, in my opinion, Megan was better and understood how to act, but she knows nothing about when it comes to Royals and the rules, et cetera. I mean, she wasn't even, I mean, she understood kind of how to act, but she's not a good actor. Uh, Trina, hi, Trina. I'm so glad that you had the same impression of Megan. Um, my family always gave me a hard time about not liking her until the Oprah interview. Yeah, I mean, my sister did too, and I do like it. My family goes, well, maybe you should think about X, maybe you should think about Y. And that is a good thing. I think it's good sometimes for people to question so that we really have to think of our argument. But yeah, at the same time too, I just, I just clocked her. 
really quickly as just a desperate Hollywood actress that has always, always wanted fame, money, and attention. And I wasn't wrong. I was not wrong. So sadly for everyone, I think. Ritz, I have not ever watched the entire engagement interview. It was boring and fake, fake, fake all the way. They are both insufferable. Yes, agreed. Marissa says, love your channel and how you say it like it is, Brittany. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Um, do you ha don't you have to get royal approval for filming in royal states? Yes, but I don't know if they did. I don't know if they did. I don't know. <laughs> Jane Bucks fan says, I wanted to like make it so, so much because she was an American. I heard she was an actress, which gave me pause. The wedding plenty was what Megan wants. Megan gets. Yes. And again, it just felt very, very sad. Very sad. And so, um, <laughs> uh, Brittany, it was called the Twilight Bark in 101 Dalmatians. Yes. That is so cute. And I always wondered too, if dogs bark in other languages, they probably don't. That's just dumb. But I just think that's a funny idea. Um, Becky B says, uh, you can do a chain of investigation of how much inheritance you deposit in a joint account and separate out. Oh, that would be interesting. I don't know the intricacies and the details. All right. So we've kind of reached the end and um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this live stream up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Easter and we'll just go ahead and share this picture again of Maverick real quick. Isn't he so he's just so handsome. He's so handsome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.